Uh, the most shocking and interesting fact about atherosclerosis, not to me, it's insidious beginning not to in, uh, in adulthood, but often in childhood or adolescence, manifesting as a fatty streaks in the arteries. So imagine this, long before anyone even considers their cholesterol levels or worries about heart disease, the very first whispers of atherosclerosis are already present in the arteries of young people. These fatty streaks essentially early benign accumulations of cholesterol and immune cells are the precursors to the hardened obstructive plaques we typically associate it with atherosclerosis. This isn't just about genetics or extreme diets in use. It's nearly universally phenomenon, albeit varying in severity. This revelation completely recontextualizes, contextualizes, recontextualizes our approach to cardiovascular health. It means, my beloved, that the silent killer is just a silent in its progression through adulthood, but literally begins its uh, clandestine work decades uh, earlier that we often assume. It transforms our understanding from a disease primarily of aging and lifestyle choices to one with roots firmly, firmly planted in formative years. So this fact emphasizes the profound importance of early preventive strategies, healthy lifestyle promotion from a young age, and understanding the complex interplay of genetics and environment across the entire lifespan. It also challenges us to think, to think about when true prevention should begin, not at the first sign of risk in adulthood, but perhaps in pediatric care. Shaping habits that could genuinely alter the trajectory of cardiovascular disease for generations. The idea that significant arterial changes are already, are already underway in seemingly healthy adolescents is a powerful reminder of how pervasive and silently progressive this disease truly is. Okay? Stay blessed.